welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new today we are going to be trying out these BT art box milky white nails that I saw and I became obsessed with so I just absolutely had to try them these are the two-in-one uh, soft gel tips they are the short almond size they don't come in a medium size they just come in short almond coffin square squoval they just come in the short sizes for now hopefully they get the medium sizes in the future because I absolutely love them. This is uh, the directions that kind of come with it. Uh, well, they do come with it. Obviously, I got them out of the box, but the directions come with it. It's basic. It's your basic tip application. It shows you how to apply them. And it's got a little Q&A on it. And then this is how they come. They come on this little pack, I guess you could say. They come separately instead of in a box where they're all kind of thrown in there. So if you drop them, you're not going to have to play 500 pickup. Also, it comes with 15 sizes and it comes with five rows, five sets, five rows of each thing of sizes. So I am going to put the rest of the box to the side because we only need one for one hand. You could do, depending on your nail sizes, you could do two, both your hands with one. So now we're, I'm just going to measure out my sizes. So when you are measuring your nail tips, you want to make sure that they go from sidewall to sidewall completely touching. You don't want any overlapping or any hanging over or them not touching the sidewalls because that will cause lifting and lifting is not something that you want. So you want to make sure that the tips fit properly and it was super easy to size my nail tips out. I was amazed actually and usually my index finger and my ring finger are the same size so I already kind of knew that that was going to be the case so I went ahead and flipped over the thing and just made sure these tips are super beautiful they give you that nice milky white look they are pre-buffed they are pre-etched on the on the inside and they also have a primer included underneath as well. So you don't have to do anything to these tips except apply them when you get them. I thought that was amazing. It is so much less work than before with t with regular, like your standard tips that are just clear. Now right here, I'm just showing you how I size my tips. This is the perfect fit for me, uh, sidewall to sidewall. And I just like to make sure. See, I tried out a different one. And it didn't, and the, the bigger one didn't quite work for me. So you just want to make sure, take your time sizing your tips. Also, I wanted to show you that I didn't use the biggest thumb size or the smallest pinky size. And I have average hands, but if you have wider thumbs, um, this probably would not work for you just because, I mean, I usually wear about a size two, one or a two, sometimes a zero in most sizes, but... If you have like really wide thumbs, probably wouldn't be for you, but super small pinkies would work for you because I, I have a relatively small child hand and they still fit for me. They still fit me. This is about, this is the length and this is my athletic, this is like what I would consider like my summer athletic yard work, play with the kids, do all the crazy stuff nails versus my usual longer nails. I love the size. I love the color. I have been um, actually applying peel base underneath my tips so that they're easier to remove, but I still prep my nails all the way. I also use the Painted Desert Cactus Jelly Plus because I haven't grabbed the BT Art Box 20, uh, their glue gel yet, either of their adhesion gels. I haven't grabbed them yet. So I used what I had, but I totally wanted to try the tips out. Also, I use the Young Nails Swipe Solution to dehydrate my nails. I don't use like a nail dehydrator. I just use Swipe because it works great. And that's what I'm doing to my nails right now. I am just applying, doing the swipe with a paper towel. I don't really use lint-free wipes because they're not really lint-free. I don't know. I don't like to use them. I like to just use Bounty and it works for me. Just make sure that all of the nail all of the stuff is off of your skin before you start all off your nails everything is taken care of before you start you only dust particles or paper towel fragments so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply the peel base to all of my nails the gel peel base applies just like a regular gel base excuse me and then you cure it in your lamp for 60 seconds and then you are ready to go with applying the tips 
I use the gel peel base underneath my tips just because I have a layer of rubber base down. I buff the layer of rubber base to remove the shine and then I apply the peel base which makes my nails last about a week to a week and a half with a very busy mom of four heavy water busy dishes laundry lifestyle works for me and it's easy to remove when I'm ready with just a little bit of alcohol. All right. So here is the cactus jelly plus that I'm going to use to apply the nails. I'm going to kind of let you guys just watch at how quick and easy this is. I do fumble a little bit with a couple of them just because that's just how it goes sometimes when I'm trying to do this on camera. I wanted to try to get as much in the camera as I could, but I want you guys to just watch, just see how easy and quick it is. And then I will come back in just a little bit and kind of explain a little bit more for you guys. Now once you get the tips on, they've got that little part at the edge at the tip where you disconnected it from the long strand of them. I'm just going to file that little bit off. 
I don't really do any reshaping. I just get the tip off and they are perfect matte. Like you really don't have to do anything to them. But right now I'm just going to kind of clean off just a little bit of the excess gel because they're all just flash cured right now. And then I'm going to just wipe them off with alcohol just to make sure that no extra gel is on my skin. And then I'm going to toss my hand, well, place my hand ever so gently into my lamp and cure my nails for 60 seconds to make sure that the gel is properly and fully cured all of the way to have no issues with anything. I just like to check the underside. I like to check the sidewalls to make sure that all the gel is where it needs to be. Just because it's it's the best practice to not get anything on your skin or leave anything on your skin because that can cause gel allergies. Now, I know I do get a lot on my skin in my videos. I try to be very, very careful with how much what I use. I use HEMA-free gels most of the time, but when it comes to applying my tips, I use HEMA-free mostly, unless I'm trying something new. I try to stick to only HEMA-free because it's just best for me personally. Now, what I'm doing is, I'm like I was saying, I'm just shaping that part off the tip just to make it the shape better because I mean it looks kind of wonky it looks like I just twisted it off of something and then I just file a little bit at the cuticle just to kind of get rid of that little bit of excess gel that kind of seeped out just to get uh, a little bit uh, cleaner of a line I guess you could say because after you're done with this you can literally dip or gel right on top of these tips you don't have to do anything to them since they are already pre-etched and they look matte, so they're, they look beautiful matte by them, just by themselves. It, you don't have to put any color on them. That's what I love about this as well, is that you don't have to apply any color. And they're not clear, so they don't look weird, naked. Can you can I say that on here? They don't look odd with no color on them. We'll put it like that. <laughs> they don't look, like, super odd. So if you're like, hey, I don't want to do my nails. I just want to throw on some quick press-ons. I just want to put on some nails, but I don't have time today to do anything. Take... 10 minutes, 15 minutes, put the nails on and then do them the next day. That would be totally fine because they stick really well. They applied really easy and the color is just perfect. So I do end up just throwing a top coat on there. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. Perfect for like nail art, uh, milk bath designs. But I throw a top coat on because I am a shiny person. I like my nails to be shiny. I like to keep them protected. So I just literally throw a gel top coat on and this specific top coat doesn't need a gel base and with the nails already being pre-buffed I don't need to put anything down before I apply this top coat because it will stick really good that's the type of top coat that this one is in particular and also it leaves a great shine so after I'm done with applying this top coat I would be able to put peel base on top of that a regular and either the gel peel base or a regular peel base and then go ahead and dip on top of that so that I can preserve these uh, nail tips longer uh, I could just leave it like this and not put any color on and just rock the the white nails I mean that's a perfect summer look which is probably what I'll do for some bit of time but overall I loved the strength I loved the durability I liked how thick they were I liked the color I liked the length and I went ahead and did my other hand off camera so that I had both of them. Look at how beautiful that is. I am 100% in love with these nail tips. And I will be trying different colors, different sizes, different lengths. And I will definitely keep y'all updated. This is the next one that I've got planned to try. And it will be coming in a future video. So keep your eyes peeled looking for that one. And I will catch y'all in the next video.